Okay, I wanted to show you exactly how to log into Blackboard. I know for some of you, you probably know this, and this isn't troublesome for you at all, but not everybody has the same ease with uh, this online stuff. So I want to walk you through really simply how to get logged into Blackboard. Uh, you're going to go up into the address bar, and you're going to type my.tccd.edu. And then you'll come to this screen, and you should enter the same information that you use to log into WebAdvisor. I know you know how to do that because you had to have at least done that in order to enroll in the class, so uh, I know that you should have that information somewhere. And just click Login, and you're going to come to a screen. It's going to look similar to mine, but it's not going to look exactly like mine because I this lists all the courses I've taught in the past, some for the present as well. And you'll find our course. Um, for this example, I'll click on 59172. Uh, you might not be in that class, but I'll show you what happens when you click there. Um, so find my name where it says STSC and it says James Weatherford, and that's where you'll want to click in. Uh, so here you have this page, and um, most importantly, the very first thing that you'll know, need to know how to do once you have navigated to the course homepage for your STSC course, uh, we have this first discussion board assignment. That's very important. Um, this is asking me questions, but don't worry about that. Yours probably will not do that. And you'll come to a screen that looks just like this. Okay, And you'll see some highlighted yellow instructions here that says, you need to post a comment, then two replies in the message board. Do not create a new forum. Now what that means is you don't want to come over here and click create forum. Okay, because what that will do is create another um, another assignment looking post just like this one. You don't want to do that. You want to just click this link here that says message board assignment week one. Click on message board assignment week one. You'll come to this page. And then now, depending on how soon you get to this page, there may be nothing there, but there may also be other students there who've already posted and have created their own thread. Um, but every student is required to create a thread, and in that created thread will be where you will follow the directions here and give an introduction of yourself. Um, you'll make sure that you reply to two other students but in this place is where you're going to come in and you're just going to put your name or say hello something and then here in this box just introduce yourself maybe what your major is um, what do you want to do after college. Get a job, maybe you have something in mind, a career, something specific. After TCC, where do you go from here? Maybe you have a plan to go to a four-year college. Maybe you're in pursuit of a master's degree, PhD, maybe you want to be a doctor, whatever. Um, and in this place, just share something about yourself. You know, the more, the, the better, just because it's more interesting to read more about people. And the more you share about yourself, the more we get to know you. And we do likewise, and that way you'll get to know us. And Anyway, so you'll go in and you'll post a thread. And when you're done typing, it's just like sending an email, um, just like posting on Facebook or something like that. But then you click Submit, and then now your thread will appear in the list that when you people click on that link that says Message Board Assignment 1 on the beginning page where we started in this forum, the first thing posted there will be mine, where you see that I've said James Weatherford, um, because I'll do this as an example in class as well. And then uh, your thread will show up here, and the only thing you have to do after you've posted your thread is to reply to two other people. And so, pretending that there's more than just my thread here, um, you'll come and click on Hello, where I've put the title of my thread and uh, you'll pick two students. Don't comment on mine because that's not really the point. It's really about you and your classmates. And then very simply click reply 
again it's just like writing emails and then you put your reply whatever you want to say encourage somebody if, they have, if you have something in common with somebody maybe they're gonna go to the same college as you maybe you went to high school together you could mention that or you could say oh cool you know I'm really into sports as well or whatever just talk to each other be personable it's kind of a way to break the ice but it gets you used to using this online format as well um, we don't do a whole lot in STSC but some courses will require you to do something on the discussion board maybe every week sometimes twice a week and so I want to make sure you know part of my class what I'm trying to teach you is to help you understand how to use a lot of this online stuff there's no way around it it's just normal this is the standard kind of stuff we have to do in college these days and then after you've made your reply to two other students always click submit to make sure it posts so whenever someone clicks on their thread they'll see your reply and you can even reply to other people's replies and so on and so forth uh... The, you're required to make your thread plus respond to two others but you are also more than free to go ahead and talk to anybody about anything on there that you want the other assignments that are found here on blackboard are here where it says reading quizzes over here in the left hand panel um, this is really important because reading quizzes are going to be due for every single chapter now as of right now I haven't set the availability uh, to where you'd be able to see them so I'm gonna work on that you'll be able to see them by the time you have started this class but right now it, you'll probably it'll never say you know this item is no longer available so don't worry about that if I tell it that it's not available I think it just disappears on your end but you'll come in here for whatever chapter it is that we're dealing with that day um, you are required to have completed that chapter quiz before you come to class and so here you have chapter two reading quiz hopefully if you are up to speed you have done the reading before you came to class you sat down and completed the reading quiz um, they'll tell you some rules here um, but then you just click begin and then okay well it says because the due date is passed alright so don't worry about that right now but when you click on it it's not gonna look that way it's gonna actually be a test so just keep that in mind um, I wanted to just make sure you understood that's where they will be right there under reading quizzes um, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of tweaking to this before it'll actually be functional so just keep that in mind reading quizzes they're due all of this will also be in your syllabus and here where it says syllabus um, you'll see a link here in this left hand panel as well that says syllabus and your syllabus for this course will be found there but you will also have a syllabus that I give you on the first day and I'm probably going to email you a copy somewhere in the process of the beginning of this course so you'll have at least a hard copy in your hand one in your email and a link to that syllabus right here on blackboard at all times the only other thing that's really important to know here on blackboard is going to be here where it says lessons now this um, this is important because if you come to class and we go through the PowerPoint lectures and we have a discussion and I lecture to you a little bit about some things uh, you may go home and think well what was that that he said what did that PowerPoint say my slot my notes weren't as thorough as they needed to be all these are available these PowerPoint presentations will be there so you can go right back when you get home when you're studying for your test look it up and review that information and these are all in PowerPoint form I might go ahead and actually try to fix those to be uh, PDFs for you because I think a PDF is a little more compatible than a PowerPoint um, so let's see and then of course my grades whenever you click on that link you will find up to date if I'm not slacking but you should find very up to date accurate uh, recording of your grades letting you know what you have made on certain assignments and of course your overall average in the course so that really is the I mean there's a lot of links and stuff here 
But the most important things that you need to know about Blackboard is where that discussion board is, so you can do that first assignment that you'll be assigned on the first day, and you need to know where your reading quizzes are. Every day, one is going to be due. Um, and then, of course, you need to know where to find your syllabus, and you need to know how to view what your grades are in the course. So, if you have any questions, you know you can always reach me. Um, email me, james.weatherford64803 at my.tccd.edu. And um, I'll see you in class. Hopefully this video is helpful. Uh, I'm looking forward to a good two weeks. Like I've said, you've already, already heard me say this. This is a really easy course. So uh, I look forward to seeing you make a, make a 100. Okay. <laughs>